it's really good both of them i just maybe the treble sound is slightly better maybe the beat sounds on the xm4 is actually kind of eliminating the quality of the treble sounds So naively, I didn't realize how well-respected and well-known the brand Sound Pete was until I uploaded my previous video in regards to Unit T3. And right after I uploaded that video, I've been asked whether I'll be interested to review the upcoming brand new product called Mini Pro. I believe several YouTubers have already reviewed it and has a really good review. Uh, so what this is, is that it doesn't come with that Thing that sticks out that's why it's called mini and then pro means obviously very good sound quality so very promising indeed uh, by the name of it but it comes with this two layers of circle that leads to the ear plug and the logo sits quite well it's actually sideways so it's kind of discreet sit on the front of the ear plug so on the back side a futuristic female is um, platinum blonde i would say female is wearing it and it sits very well futuristic and very good indeed. On the spec side, it actually comes with the Bluetooth chipset of QCC3040. Uh, the Bluetooth version is again uh, 5.2, which is very good, high spec. And the um, audio codec is the Qualcomm APTX, which I know I've actually reviewed it. It's very good quality indeed. And the playtime about seven hours and 21 hours including the charging case as well and the battery um, capacity up to 300 milliamp per hour in these so all good all promising great packaging so i look forward to do the unboxing so here it goes so i would actually cut it here very nicely and then pull it out all good nicely peeled off voila ah look at that so on the top we got the logo with the instruction manual on the front side or the top side should we say so that's all here and then on the bottom side we got the several choices of the ear plugs um, which will look like this okay so two more pairs and then the other side we got the regular USB-C cable for charging and the main body which is the actual unit itself ah okay so that feels very um, compact indeed and it's very settled this time isn't it so comparing the case against my uh, sony xm4 it's almost the exact identical quality of a plastic here um, the width wise you can see there's a huge difference um, on the top side you can see that the length itself Sony XM4 is much longer um, and the thickness is pretty much the same now the back side of it you can see that they're both USB-C um, charging but I don't think this actually has a wireless but how often do you need that anyway um, if you open up you see the dark fader kind of look of red light uh, charging and the actual quality of the uh, earbuds itself well it's actually good um, I have to say good weight glossy and also matte finish and um, pretty much standard indeed and again I love the way how they designed their logo so let's get into the sound testing so here it goes so we're going to do a sound comparison against the Sony XM4 earbuds with a brilliant track that I discovered today called Utopia uh, by an artist called Ashutosh
So on the right hand side I got the Sony XM4 earbud plugged into my right ear on the left hand side I got the Soundpiece Mini Pro plugged in so let's simultaneously listen to the track again so here it goes They're similar Okay so the Sony XM4 has the um, stronger beat feel probably because of the noise cancelling it's a very eerie feeling because both really good quality but yet you can tell they're not the same earbuds the treble sound is pretty much the same i think the beat is slightly weaker for the um, mini pro by sound Pete. But it could all da be down to the noise cancellation effect. It's really good, both of them. I just... Maybe the treble sound is slightly better. Maybe the beat sounds on the XM4 is actually kind of eliminating the quality of the treble sounds. But you just can't tell that there are huge price differences between these two earbuds. We all know that Sony XM4 is probably one of the most expensive earbuds around. Yeah, you can hear the rest of the combination with the um, Soundpiece Mini Pro. The Sony XM4, I think, is based on my settings. The Beats is actually diluting the rest of the sounds, but <laughs> it's really good. I mean, really impressed. So I'm in a separate room at the moment and um, using my sound Pete's Mini Pro to make a phone call to my wife's iPhone 12 and my iPhone, my, my wife's iPhone 12 uh, Pro is actually on a speakerphone. So I hope you can hear the sound quality of this earbuds. Is that good? I hope so. So just like any other of my recent previous video related to the earbuds from Shenzhen uh, region, which is the Silicon Valley of China, uh, they're really catching up. The sound quality wise, you, you'll be amazed how affordable it is at the same time, how similar the um, audio quality is against the flagship earbuds such as Sony XM4 here. And I hope this video clearly showed you that. And it actually makes you wonder again and again and again, was it really worth spending 250 US dollars or British pounds to get one of the best flagship uh, earbuds? Is it just that, that pride that you got, haha, I got one of the best earbuds or is it mainly your focus is on the budgeted and the sound quality of the uh, the price worth if you see what I mean and um, Soundpeats Mini Pro yet again proved that the sound quality you don't need to pay as much and the sound quality will be almost similar and it's just mind-blowing I have to say how the outcome is turning against all this technology upbringing and development and so on uh, two things I do want to be picky is that because they're trying to make it very compact um, I even find it slightly tricky to fit it initially but all you need to do is just turn it uh, like anti um, clockwise and you'll feel that something kind of stopped on both end and it will feel quite well the other side is that if you're trying to fit into your 
um, charging case because of the compactness maybe you might find it difficult initially to put it but that's not a major deal anyway but um, it doesn't have a wireless charger but it does actually have the active noise cancellation I think the Sony XM4 I have to give a bit of a credit on is that maybe the reason the sound beats uh, the beat sound was uh, stronger is because it had a stronger active noise cancellation this also has it but it feels more like 50% of the um, active noise cancellation uh, strength compared to the Sony XM4 um, but then again it's much clearer with the rest of the combination but so, again someone can challenge me it is mainly down to the uh, sound settings I have with Sony XM4 and that's the problem here people because Sony XM4 has so many different sound settings you can never get satisfied you're always spending your time trying to readjust the um, all the trebles and the bass and so on while as um, do you really need to do that when the sound peats um, actually Mini Pro is suggesting this is the sound that you need to listen to which is very good so overall I have to say thumbs up for the the Mini Pro and I'm really excited about the launch I hope uh, you guys could also get the sound peats and um, any of the uh, really affordable um, earbuds that is recently re released uh, based on uh, the company by sound peats it's, it's just mind-blowing indeed so um, I hope this video gave you a bit of a feel on how uh, the good this uh, earbuds is but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is LGBT all the best bye bye